Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I've come up to an area of green near to where I live and I'm just gonna be doing a quick unboxing of the new Honor X7. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, so unboxing the Honor X7. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am just sat in the middle of a field in the center of Bristol. But opening the box, you get the phone on top in this sort of loose plastic sleeve. The phone there looks quite nice, I'll just set that to one side. And then underneath that you get this little packet which would normally have a clear case bundled inside but unfortunately you don't get that with the Honor X7 but you do get your SIM ejector tool. And then underneath that you get your plug and your USB-C cable. So having a plug in the box is nice and it supports 22 and a half watt fast charging as well. So that's the Honor X7 and let's get into the rest of the review. Okay, so as for the display of the Honor X7, you get a large 6.7 inch display with a 720p resolution and a fast 90 hertz refresh rate. Now I know what you're thinking, a 720p display on a large 6.7 inch display didn't sound very great to me either. But to be perfectly honest, it's actually a really nice display. Unless you're looking really closely at the display, you're not really going to notice that it's a 720p panel. Except obviously if you're watching video and photos that you take might not look quite as nice as it would on a 1080p display. But for the most part, it's a really nice display. Nice, smooth, 90 hertz. I can't really complain too much. Now, as for the rear of the phone, it's made of plastic and I've got it in titanium silver. It is also available in midnight black and ocean blue. And then in the top corner, you get a quad camera system, which consists of a 48 megapixel main sensor, a five megapixel ultra wide, and then two two megapixel macro and depth cameras. So I'll do a full test of the camera in my full review, doing photos and video. So be sure to check out and subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And then at the bottom of the phone, you get a USB-C charging port, which supports 22 and a half watt fast charging, a headphone jack, microphone, and a speaker grill. And then at the top in a dewdrop notch, you get the eight megapixel selfie camera. And to be fair, the bezels on the Honor X7 aren't too bad. There's a bit of a chin at the bottom here, but everything else looks pretty, pretty clean and pretty slim. And then on the left of the phone, you have your volume rocker, and then below that, your power button with your integrated fingerprint sensor. The right of the phone is completely clean. The SIM slot is actually at the top, which has a micro SD card, so you can expand your storage as well. And in terms of performance, you get a pretty efficient six nanometer Snapdragon 680 4G processor. So unfortunately it's not a 5G smartphone and that's backed by four gigabytes of RAM and I've got 128 gigabytes of storage here as well, which like I said before is expandable. And as for software, the Honor X7 is running Android 11 with Honor's Magic UI 4.2 on top. So unfortunately it's not got the newest Android 12. So it will be interesting to see if it is due for an Android 12 update. And of course, because Honor's split from Huawei, they now have full Google services support, which is a really good thing because I do actually really like Honor or Huawei phones with their Magic UI or EMUI. I know the skin isn't for everybody, but I actually do quite like it. It seems to be running quite smoothly and it's not really that much of an issue. It's not too clunky that I found anyway. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think of EMUI or Magic UI and uh, yeah. We'll see how it does. And I think I do actually prefer the look of Magic UI over Samsung's One UI as well. I mean, I had a P20 Pro a few years ago and I absolutely loved that phone. Even the EMUI at the time was really nice. So let me know what you think of the Honor X7 on these first impressions and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when my full review goes live in a few weeks time. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.